To connect to the class server from a Macintosh computer, you can use the built-in terminal application which supports the Secure Shell protocol. To open the terminal application, you can open up the finder. In this case, I'm going down and choosing the finder from my bar at the bottom of the screen. Going to the Applications folder and scrolling down to the Utilities folder and then double clicking on the terminal application. That will bring up the application where you can then type in any commands that you want to execute. In this particular case, since we're wanting to connect to a server using the secure shell protocol, you just type SSH and the host name or internet address of the server that you want to connect to. For our class, the internet address for the server is 129.24.63.1.1. If your username is the same on your local machine as it is on the server, this command is sufficient to connect. So if I hit return, in this case, since this is the first time I'm connecting to the server, I will be asked to confirm the fingerprint for the server to ensure that we don't uh, find ourselves in an insecure connection. So when asked this, I know that this is the correct server that I'm connecting to, so I type yes and hit return. I am then asked for my password. So I type in my password. You'll notice that as I type the password, the characters do not show up on the screen. That is normal. Go ahead and type in your password, assuming that they're going to that they are being sent to the server and that when you hit enter, they will be submitted. After you successfully provide your username and password, you will then see a message from the system and see a command prompt where you can then type in additional commands to interact with the system. If your username on your local Macintosh is different from your username on the class server, which is likely the case, a more complete SSH command that you can type in includes the specification of your username on the class server as a part of the command that starts the connection. That command again begins with SSH, but now you add the information about your login name, so you use a dash L space and your login name, so in this case for me that's K-B-E-N-E, and then you add the address for the server. Again, 129.24.63.138 Since I've previously connected to the server, I am not asked for to confirm the fingerprint and I'm just asked for the password for the username that I provided with the request. I type in my password, hit return, and I'm again taken to the command prompt where I can further interact with the server.